We are going on a little trip tomorrow to Northern California and our house is just, it's a mess. It's a huge mess. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to clean up, do a couple projects around the house. First thing I wanna do though is eat this leftover takeout from last night. If you've never tried Himalayan food, you definitely need to. It's my favorite takeout. So um, this is rice, chana masala, these delicious little dumplings. So good. In case you're wondering, I'm giving my feet a little self-care right now, okay? Soaking them in some coconut oil. So that's what's up with my feet in the socks in this video. I'm just gonna eat real quick and then we will get to work, get the house under control midweek. Completely unrelated. But I've been getting into more intuitive eating. So I just ate that, like half of that chana masala rice. And now I'm feeling something citrusy. Some of Uncle Matt's ultimate defense, orange pineapple ginger. Um, I actually just accidentally got this this week at the store. I usually get Uncle Matt's um, just regular orange juice. It's really yummy. Uh, kind of overpriced though, if you're asking me. I wish we had an orange tree in our yard. Okay, so basically, here's how I make my adrenal cocktails, in case you're wondering. Natural vitamin C and trace minerals. Basically, a natural electrolyte drink. So I am putting half of my orange juice, half coconut water. It's not Himalayan salt, it's, it's called Redmond's Real Salt. I'll put it in the description box so that you can see it and then you'll know what to look for in the store. So I'm putting a pinch of that in. I'm nursing still, so I like things really salty. Just turning into a little like self-care session. Some trace minerals, a little bit of this whole food vitamin C. Stir that on up. This channel is not meant to be nutrition or medical advice. Simply what I'm drinking. And we're gonna get to work cleaning up the kitchen. A lot of times I like to just clean in silence. Like when the house is empty, that rare occasion when the house is empty, uh, I'm grabbing a napkin real quick. <laughs> um, there's something just nice and therapeutic about cleaning in silence. So I think I'm actually gonna do that for a while.
or like a twister and doesn't splash. So there you go. Time to Swiffer. I do use the um, dusting pads. Just, I don't know, the kids just love to basically use them. Um, but when I'm actually mopping, I got this like reusable Swiffer thing from Etsy. And it's great. It's just like a, I don't know, microfiber towel maybe with like snaps that you just put on your Swiffer. And, um, yeah, that way I don't have to buy all those plastic attachments. There you go. So I'm gonna Swiffer now. Usually I just use some Dr. Bronner's or Branch Basics, but I don't have any right now. And water. Vinegar and water today. back of this room is really not super cleaned up. We still don't have, I picture putting like a mid-century modern credenza type thing right here, like maybe wood and cane. Um, I don't know, something to organize the kids' toys and like just have a place for that. We'll also maybe like a place for some books because we have quite an overflow here of library books. So, just to share what the back of this room is looking like.